First of all, a little bit of context for this video. Lately, I've been recording most of my videos freewheeling, and so this is unscripted, and I'm just talking off the cuff and from my heart. Second, ever since spirit science began, I have felt a deep and profound connection with literally all of you. What I mean by this is, whenever I publish a video about any particular subject, following that video's release, I often find that I learn exponentially more about that subject, which I attribute to our collective consciousness working together throughout time and space. As each new video comes out, the collective mind watches it and thinks about it and digests and contemplates these ideas, and many of those reverberations in the field make their way back to me, and it helps me to learn more too. So I really want to give a lot of credit where credit is due to you, this amazing spirit science audience. Without you, these videos would just be little blips in the great pond of social media. And I think that it's because of our collective consciousness together, we are rapidly developing our ability to know and understand the various subjects that we're exploring here. So this video today is specifically about a post that I made on social media several days ago. My coworker and friend sent me a picture of a meme that said, you're too serious, open your clown chakra. And I thought, that's really funny. I think I wanna share that. And from a place of humor, I put it out there. We posted that on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, threads. Most people got a good laugh out of it. And a few people were like, hey, no, seriousness is very required in this world. We should be more serious. And personally, I don't disagree with that. I think we need a very healthy balance of maturity and childlike wonder in everything that we do, at least for mature grownups. But that's besides the point. What happened next after making that post was very interesting. Due to what I believe is that cosmic interconnectedness through our thoughts and our consciousness, I found myself in meditation on Saturday being completely overwhelmed by visualizations of the Joker. <laughs> and not just like Heath Ledger or Jack Nicholson Joker. I mean like the comic book super wicked Joker, just flooding my mind, flooding my thoughts, flooding my being. So it was then that during all of these meditation experiences where I prayed to the divine intelligence and said, where on earth is this coming from? And I received, without a shadow of a doubt, this very clear message. You told people to open up their clown chakra. And I thought, oh my God. <laughs> well, enough of that. And I immediately deleted the post everywhere. But that wasn't exactly enough. You see, then the next day, I spoke with a very dear friend of mine, and he told me that the last night, he had endless dreams about the Joker as well, also with the very wicked form that he is often portrayed in. And I thought, oh dear, it's spreading because it's not just one person interconnected with everybody, we're all connected with each other. In fact, I am wondering if anybody watching this has had a similar experience. And if you had, please put it in the comments, that would be wild. I personally kind of don't think that would be the case, but honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. And so, with all of that said, don't open the clown chakra, close it down, and do your best to embody the qualities of truth, love, and authenticity. And hey, sorry, I gotta edit myself in here for a moment too, because that does not mean to not have fun. We can have fun, we can play, we can be jovial, we can be childlike. Perhaps it is then that the idea of the clown chakra genuinely is imitating something that you're not in order to get a laugh or create a reaction in someone else. It's literally like a chaotic disorganization of energy. But honestly, I don't really know. I just know the experience that I had and this thing that started as a funny pun ended up being like a really serious lesson. Anyways, back to the original recording. I have to say, following the video that I posted yesterday, Patchman's important message, some people did comment, you know, this is good, but it's a little lovey-dovey. There are evil forces in the world, you know. And also, once again, I don't disagree. There are evil forces in the world. And the best thing that we can do about them is stand up against them by embodying the light of our soul which is of course what that video was ultimately all about. And so with that, I'm going to end this message and say thank you for being a part of this learning journey with me. As always, it is an honor to share on this adventure and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Oh, and before I forget, if you need even more assistance in destroying evil, please join us for the live event, the renewal of the 12D Shield guided meditation taking place on February 5th in Spirit Mysteries. We have a link in the description that you can join the event is set to make an offering. You can come in at whatever level you want. The most important thing is that you show up. If you do contribute, thank you very much. It helps so much more than you know right now. 
You have all of my love, and I'll see you in the next video.